edition of Sparky Help. This time we're going to master AM2 lighting circuits. You, we're doing a two-way and a two-way and intermediate using twin and earth cables and three core. Please like, share and subscribe. So let's look at uh, the types of switches that we have and here's a two-way switch the back of one we have three terminals which you're probably all aware of hopefully common and L1 and L2. How does that basically work? Well it works like this the common has the switch permanently connected to it and it switches in either of those two positions. To do a two-way circuit using a two core and a three core we can do it like this. So we run a twin and earth out and we take it to the switch and we take the line conductor to the common and the neutral we take to a connector block. The terminals at L1 and L2 they would be called the strappers and we're going to run a three core. I know I've drawn L1 to L2 but it doesn't matter I've only drawn it for convenience so the lines don't cross but the strappers doesn't matter as long as they go to L1 or L2 on the opposite switch. As I said, this is a three core, so the third core will be the neutral. The neutral then, obviously being used the grey conductor in this case, and the black conductor as a line conductor, they need to be sleeved, so please make sure you sleeve them. Out of the top of this switch then we come out of the common with our two core cable, and there's our line and neutral. What does it look like with the switches on? That's how you would basically terminate them. Relatively straightforward, so twin and earth in, three core between, twin and earth back out. If we put a light in then, let's see if this light is on or off. If we follow the lines through from the fuse, through the line conductor, common L2 goes to L1, it can't be on, so it's off at the moment. If we put the switch over to the left, you can see that the current would go on, and the lamp therefore would turn on. To operate the switch, we go to the opposite switch and try and make sure it goes off. Don't make the mistake of switching on and off at the first switch, because it probably will do that, but might not switch off from the opposite one. So we then go back to the other switch and it should come back on again. This confirms this lighting circuit actually works. But what about an intermediate? You want to add more switches in. So here's an intermediate switch, uh, there you can see there are four terminals now. The point being here, we need to know where top is. They've labelled theirs as L1, L1 and L2 and L2. And that's basically how this works. So we've got the crossing over in this position, or it goes switched down. So they're the two positions they switch in. Like I say, the numbering system makes no odds. Let's look at some other brands. So here's another particular brand, you, some of you may recognise it and they've called them ones and twos. But the important thing again is it's top and bottom. It doesn't make any odds and as you can see they have written top on the top of this switch. Here's another particular brand, quite an old one but it is a brand nonetheless, and they've not put any markings on other than the dotted lines and this just indicates how the switching works. But remember, top or bottom. Here's another brand again. Uh, this brand, I guess, must save money because the labelling on the back of the black part of the switch uh, says line in, line out. Um, yeah, this is sort of irrelevant really, but what they have put, if you look in the back of the plastic of the switch, they put the crosses to show an intermediate and they call them ones and twos. But again, doesn't matter, top or bottom. And again, just one more, here's another brand, slightly different again. But again, they've called theirs L1s and L2s, but it doesn't matter. So here's our switching circuit then, there's our layout. CPCs have not been shown for clarity, and this will be what you'll do in your AM2. So you'll bring a twin and earth in, and obviously the neutral will go to a connector. The line conductor will go to the common as before. And then what we do is we run a three core between all the remaining switches. So you just need to mark what's in and what's out. It doesn't, it doesn't matter as long as you get the right pair. So again, I'm doing L1 to L2, but it doesn't matter. You can do L1 to L1 if you wish. The important part here, these are the strappers, that they go in either the top or the bottom. I think you're beginning to get the gist. 
and then the third conductor will be your neutral, which we'll put in a connector. And then we run another three core from that switch to the last switch. And again, you can see I'm just connecting them up. Uh, be consistent in your colours, just for ease. Um, using grey as the neutral, although it doesn't matter, there's no regulation that says you must use grey. Uh, they would just prefer you to use grey to disassociate the black being a neutral conductor. And obviously we've put this in. We then put a twin and earth from here and we go up. So it's very similar to the two-way, but the intermediate has in and out. The most important thing you must make sure you do, obviously apart from connecting it up correctly, is identification of conductors. So we need to identify which ones are lines and which ones are neutrals in all switches. Let's put the switches in and you can see that's basically how they would work and just connect up. So that's what the base you're looking at. Let's put a light in and if we follow the solid line through, through from the fuse, through the first switches, we will see that the light is off. And again, to switch this, we want to switch from one switch and it should come on. Go to the next switch and it should go off and go to the last one and it should come on again. And then go back to the beginning just to make sure it all works. Don't be fooled to thinking you just switch each switch independently a couple of times and think that will be okay. So please make sure you do this. Hopefully this is relatively straightforward. Good luck in your AM2. Thank you very much. Please like, share and subscribe.